Hello friends, it's Rachel here and I'm so excited because this is finally the last video in this series making this travel mini album. So if you're new to this video, to my to my channel, to Scrapbook Nerd channel, then um, there's a couple videos, um, a handful of videos of this album to catch up on if you're interested. It is a travel mini album using Maggie Holmes' Round Trip Collection. I love this collection, but I'm ready to do something else for a little bit of time. Um, thank you if you've been watching all of the videos in this series and following along. It's been a lot of fun, um, but I'm ready to put this collection away for a bit. I always come back to collections, but for now, I think we're ready to move on to a new project. Actually, I'm going to look right now. Obviously, it says it in the title. But I haven't done the title yet. I want to look and see how many there have how many videos there have been in this series because this album feels like it has taken forever. But I love it. I love the album. Okay, this is part seven. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. We've been doing this since well about for about two months or so, but. I'm glad it's done. I'm glad I have these memories documented. If you don't know, this is from when my friend Cheryl visited me. And then as you can see in this picture, we also met up with Tina and the three of us got to hang out and go craft shopping. And it was so fun um, and really cool how you can meet friends over the internet and then actually meet in person one day. There's still so many more friends that I want to meet in person one day. But for now... um. We're talking about these friends, and we went to Niagara Falls, New York. Um, Cheryl and I had done Niagara Falls in Canada, but uh, we met Tina in Niagara Falls, New York, and we did some shopping, and we did, like, the touristy things, and it was so much fun. Um, we did a lot of shopping, and um, yeah, it was just a really good time. It was my first time being on the American side of like the touristy part of Niagara Falls. Obviously I'd been before because it's just like 15 minute drive for me uh, to get over the border, but um, I had never done like the touristy things. So that was really fun. And um, yeah, so I am kind of embellishing this little page as like a mini layout and um, that's kind of how I am treating it. And um, yeah, I... I love how this album is coming together. I will do a full flip through so that you can so you can see like the full album and how it turned out. It um, was a lot of fun to make, but like I said, I'm ready to move on to something new and I'm ready to move on to Christmas things. I got from Scrapbook Nerd, I got um, Simple Stories Mix and a Mingle Collection and Baking Spirits Bright. So I'm really excited to play with those collections and see what we we come up with. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see me make using those collections. I am using Liquitex gold, I don't know what it's called, like gold paint. Um, and I'm watering it down a bit to make some little gold splatters. Um, it's a really beautiful, bold, gold, <laughs> bold, gold color. Um, so I'm using some of that because the title I used is gold. That's just from my stash, that title. Um, I just did, I was running out of titles because obviously this album is huge. Um, so I just needed to grab something from my stash. And these last couple of pages are pocket pages. It was just easy to do it that way, um, to have like, to be able to fit more photos, um, rather than like one photo per page. So this was a good way to fit more photos and I was looking for um for like little cards like journaling cards because I thought there were some in this collection but I couldn't find any or I actually I think I might have used them all up so that was kind of annoying <laughs> that I couldn't find any to use because I didn't want to have to make my own cards but like I said this album is huge and it's taken, you know, a lot of cards to fill this album. So, you know, makes sense. But it would have been so much easier to just have some pre-made. But it's all good. I made my own. You'll see how I made them. And I think they're cute. I kind of use the same 
formula to make all three of them. So they kind of, I think there's three or four, maybe four of them. So they kind of all look the same, but it's totally fine. Like I said, I'm at the end of this. I'm ready to be done. But I'm so happy to have this project complete. She came in May, at the end of May. So let's see, it took me May, June, July, August, September, October. So like five and a half months. <laughs> that sounds like a long time, but I've been doing so many projects in between. But it feels good to have this done and um, to have these memories documented. And like I said, I'll do a full flip through so you can see the entire album. And I'll explain how it came together and I'll explain... Um, some of the stories and it'll be a good full flip through kind of video. So my little formula here is for these cards is to cut a three by four pattern paper, find a chipboard, stick it in the middle, um, draw an outline, paint splatters, both in black, and then some stars from my stash. Um, and sometimes using word stickers as well. It's just easy, simple, does the trick. Um, and this I used, this little purse, because we did some shopping, so I thought it made sense. Um, and actually, we did go to a store that sells purses, so I thought it was fitting. Um, and I don't know what else I would use that little bag, so that actually worked out quite well. And this is a picture of the back of Tina's vehicle uh, that she had and all of our um, shopping bags in there. Had to get a picture of that, of all, all of the, you know, the dents we made. Going to Target, Kate Spade, Bath and Body Works, um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, all the things. We went everywhere we could, we, everywhere we could go. Um, and using these little tiles to write the words shopping time. And I've actually been using these tiles. I don't always use the tiles when they come and sticker books or sticker sheets, but I have been finding them useful, which is good. And it helps that I have two because I can, I have more vowels that way. So there will be a point when I run out of vowels between the two sticker books. But for now, I'm making lots of words with it and it's working for me. So I'm just rolling with it and embellishing the corner of this photo a little bit. We have that clear camera sticker, I thought, to bring in a little bit more of that yellow. And then we have some florals and a gold heart to bring in some of the gold from the left-hand side. And then I'm going to grab these this title sticker from my stash that says Best Friends. And obviously, I thought that was fitting for this photo. And um, I don't have a lot of pictures with friends, especially in the past couple of years. So this best friends has been sitting in my stash for a while because yeah, I just don't have a lot of pictures with my friends. So, um, and yeah, specifically in the past two and a half years with everything going on. So it was nice to be able to use that and it was so fitting when I fit some little word stickers in between our heads there. And I'm going to add some clear flower stickers on this as well. So try not to leave too many pictures plain, but I do leave some plain in the next few pages you'll see. But um, yeah, I like the little clear stickers. I think they look cute and kind of brings it all together because there are lots of florals throughout this album, which I love. That's what I love about Maggie Holmes collections is all of the florals. So I can't complain about that. And what else? I think I might use this collection for the trip Andy and I just went on. We went on a road trip that started in Florida and then we had to leave Florida because of the hurricane and we ended up in Cincinnati. And yeah, so I think I might use this collection for that trip to document that trip. Um because it's good for like traveling and we did one day at Disney but I don't feel like it's enough Disney to make a whole Disney album so I am going to use like some I think the simple stories fantasy at the park or whatever it's called I got that from scrapbook nerd and so maybe I'll combine these two because I think they would go together really well um and use them in an album Maybe, yeah, I think that would be a good idea to kind of combine the two because, like I said, it wouldn't be a full 
um, Disney album because we had to leave Disney. We had a full Disney week planned, but yeah, that didn't work out. So these are pictures of, again, more shopping, um, going to Michael's, going to the outlet mall uh, near my town, and a picture of all the things that Cheryl bought, which was so fun. Um, I know for me, it's fun, like going to the States and doing shopping. And um, yeah, especially that first time after the borders kind of opened up and going back and just having fun shopping after not being able to go for two years. It was so fun to go back again. So I get that feeling of like, like, I don't know, just having like free reign at the stores that you don't normally get to go to. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I, um, I've been sick for like two weeks. Now it's over two weeks and I still have like a little bit of a lingering cough and it's really annoying, especially when I do like talk a lot and do voiceovers, which is hard when for half of your living is doing voiceovers and videos. So it's really annoying to be coughing when, you know, you need, this is how you make money. Um, anyway, uh, uh, but I've been able to push through this long. So the last voiceover I did, I had to stop every one to two minutes to cough. Uh, so considering I got this long without coughing is pretty impressive. Um, okay, so you can see I'm doing these cards again here and I decided to use these little berries because we were holding strawberries and I know these berries aren't strawberries, but I thought it was fine. It, it went with the vibe of it all. And I don't know if like American Crafts has like switched manufacturers or something because um, I've noticed this with a couple of their products and chipboard in the in a couple collections I've gotten but their chipboard is just not as good quality as it used to be which like you know no blame to them there's been a pandemic you know that's kind of a big deal and people have had to switch providers for different things so like no no shade to them or anything and obviously scrapbook nerd doesn't has nothing to do with the quality of American crafts products um but I yeah like the the chipboard is just like not sticking anymore and so I think I'm gonna take all of these chipboards that I have left and put them in a little baggie or something because nothing is sticking anymore and it's kind of annoying um what it's and it's totally okay but um I just need to think of a new plan I've only had yeah this collection isn't like super old or anything so it's not like it's old chipboard um so I'm trying to quickly use up the chipboard so that it's not hanging around like this anymore. So it kind of worked out that I didn't have any journaling cards because then I could use up some of these chipboard pieces. So it kind of worked out. Um, and here I have this little banner and it's going to say haul time. Um, we had so much fun laying everything out and looking at all of the things she got. There was so much cool stuff. So that was really fun. And I think she's having fun with everything she got. Um, and was able to like, you know, make room for it in her stash. Um, I found this little puffy sticker that was a set of pens. And so I thought that was kind of fitting. It was kind of the closest thing I could find to craft supplies. So that worked. Added a few of those stars in there. And on that page, I added a strawberry. Um, that was from the puffy stickers. Um, and this is the last page. This was her at the airport saying goodbye and also my legs because that day we had gone kayaking which is in the kayaking section of this album uh, I kind of put the kayaking all together but it was on two separate days but this day we had gone kayaking and um, I burnt my legs really bad uh, so that's just what that picture is I don't know why I put that in there I really didn't need to but it's fine uh, but yeah we said goodbye that day dropped her off at the airport so I put the little luggage chipboard and the flowers. I don't know, usually like that's when someone comes like and lands to see you. You give them flowers, but it's fine. It works. I don't know when else I'm going to use a bouquet of flowers. So I thought it was fine um, and just kind of embellished this card a little bit with some stars and some word stickers. And then again, the black paint splatters and um, finally getting to the end of this album it's so exciting. Um, almost there. 
And yeah, I think there's like hours and hours of footage of me doing this album. So feels good to get done. And here I'm going to write goodbye, you know, makes sense because we were saying goodbye. And um, yeah, so like I said, there, um, I think actually, I think there's a playlist. So you can find the playlist or if I can remember, I'll link the playlist down below. No guarantees I'll remember those. So you'll just have to find the playlist on the YouTube channel. It won't be too hard to find. And uh, you can find all of the videos that I did of this album. And like I said, there will be a flip through. It might be not for a little while because I just have a lot on my plate right now. And it'd be a little bit of a bonus video. So I will do the flip through eventually. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe. And um, here are the final pages. I did an outline on this page on the left because I felt like it, it needed it to complete it. Uh, but let me know what you think of this album and what you thought of this series. I'm so excited it's done. It was such an amazing trip and time together. And yeah, thank you all for watching and for hanging out with me during this seven part series or whatever it is. I really enjoyed it and I'm so glad this album's done. I still have to do the front cover, but otherwise it's done. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.